My work is improvisational. I begin with the germ of an idea, color, gesture. There is subliminally this kind of exchange of energy that the work is imbued with that maybe the viewer might walk away with that comes directly from me. The inspiration for quickening came from a detail of a past painting. At the very center point of the painting, I used this geometry that I've now taken this detail and blown it up to a much larger scale. The idea was formed knowing that I was going to have this show. It was formed for this wall and for the space. I like to react to space when I do an installation. I had been working with mirror as a surface. I wanted to expand on that. For me, the mirror gives me another element to work with. There's paint on the wall, spontaneously, intuitively created paint. I had a traditional art education. I went to a high school for the arts college and very classical training. And on the other side of that, I wrote graffiti. That informs my hand. And also I took courses in Japanese calligraphy in college. So it's kind of the merging of those two forms, which I think are very connected. There's a speed and an assurance, you know, that graffiti and calligraphy share. Textiles are, play an important role as a material in my work. It allows me the freedom of not inventing color. I can use existing color and pattern. And also because of the histories that are embedded in garments that have been worn and sometimes cherished. You know, the clothes that we wear demonstrate the aspects of ourselves that we want to project to the world. So it has duality to it that I find complex and also beautiful. Movement, ballet, and dance has influenced my work since I was a kid. Now it's kind of like the dancer is taking on the life of the mark as an extension of the calligraphic line. Taking it back to the body and having the body take the way that I would make some of these gestures into physical moving spaces. This is an extension of the piece. With the hanging sculptures, there's this moving form creating gestures in the space and also being reflected in the mirror. I think everything at some point references the body. At the end of the day, for me, it's most worthwhile that within that exchange, the viewer is given some sort of internal lift, empathy and love.